Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy this boombox here. Okay. Now we have Today we're going to be making a game pass tutorial so let's say we have a game and you want to make game passes right so you can make the big boy money you know what I'm saying the big boy robux okay so we're gonna go in uh, actually we're gonna go on start a GUI uh, now we're gonna just make a button right um, we're gonna make a button so the player can click on the thing right and they can get prompted the game pass so we're gonna go on start a GUI I'm going and then we insert a screen UI inside of it and then we can put any type of button so we can do like um, we're gonna insert an image button but it could be any button to be honest um, okay next we can head over to the properties and then we can add uh, we're gonna actually change the position so we can do 0 0.01 then 0 0 0.6 zero uh, this so is scaled instead of offset because you, you don't actually want it to be offset um, yeah you, you, we want it scaled uh, same with size so erase the 100 you don't want the 100 so you can do uh, 0 0.075 and uh, this, sh this should be a zero actually and on the y-axis 0 0.15 like that all right so now I, can, I think this is good enough. All we need now is the image itself. So, okay, don't look at this. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Um, so we have like this image right here. This one uh, I made by myself. So that's pretty cool. You can copy the asset ID. Make sure you do that. And put it inside the image property. Put the ID. Okay, and then you have this. Uh, make the background transparent. So background transparency equals one. All right. So we have the button right here. I think that's all for the button. Now, to make the actual game pass, you need to go on the website. So make sure you actually publish the game. So go on file, publish. I already published the game. And then you also want it to, you want the game to be pub, uh, public, right? So it's not, so you can't really add game pass to a private game. So the game pass tutorial I have right here, make sure this is public. So change this to from part to public, if that's the case for you. All right, so we have that. Uh, let's head back. Actually, um, okay. Go on create. Go on create. So you have this public, as you can see. Uh, make sure you go on okay, go my creations and passes. But it depends actually on which. Uh, I mean, if you're if you're if you're making the game on the group, yeah, you would go to group creations. Um, anyways, uh, you can actually go. Um, well, you need to upload a an image, but make sure the game is right listed right here. So the game you want. So I'm doing Game Pass tutorial. You select that, uh, and actually, what I should do is go on the actual image that I got it from. Go to let's see, view in browser. I'm gonna. You can just save this image as, if you want. So save image as. We're gonna do this real quick. So we'll do boom. Easy. Ha. Okay. Uh, actually, I can just drag and drop this. Can I? Uh, Okay, boom PMG. Nope, okay. Boom box. Alright, and description you can do easy. I don't know, anything. Let's write whatever you want. So, boom box for playing music. Alright, preview. And make sure you actually select the actual the game you want, right? Hold on. Oh, it's not work. Okay, for some reason, that does not work. Hold on. Isn't this? Boom box. Okay, whatever. Does it not work? That's weird. All right. So we do preview. And verify to upload. And that gets uploaded under this game. Okay. So now we have the game pass. Go and configure. And do go into sales. Now this there's no fee when you sell it. So you can sell it for however much. So it's not like uh, shirts or pants basically. Because if you upload shirts or pants, you have to actually play like a 10 Robux fee. Uh, just to put on sale, um, but for game passes, that's not the case. Um, okay, so now we have actually to test it. By the way, to test it, you actually need to delete it from your inventory, just so you can actually test it. Otherwise, it'll like show an error that you already own this item. So make sure you actually delete it from your inventory in order to test it. 
Okay, so you get the, of course, you get the ID. Make sure you get the ID. That's most, uh, that's important stuff. Okay, get that. Now we can actually start with scripting. Uh, insert a local script inside the button. Okay, now we're going to make some variables. Local, okay, I always spell local wrong. I don't know why. So local game pass, game pass ID equal the game pass ID that we got from the website. And then we can do uh, actually before that uh, we want we want to get the marketplace service local marketplace equal game get service marketplace service okay now we can make the event the mouse button clicked event so we can do actually let's make another one because why not make another variable for the button local button equals script dot parent script dot parent okay so then we can do button that mouse button one click connect function. And then we actually want element. Yeah, I think that's it, right? Um, we want to get the player too, the local player. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. Now inside the click event, we want to make a what's it called again? Ah, uh, so the variable for uh, whether or not the player has the game pass or not. So we want to only prompt the purchase when the player doesn't actually have the game pass, right? So we want to do has pass. So we want to check if, if the player has, actually has the, pass, uh, the game pass, right? So we can do that by, I think it's play uh, or marketplace, sorry, marketplace. Marketplace, uh, user, own, user owns game pass, I think, all right? Uh, it actually should show like the drop down thingy or it should show, it should auto complete anyways. So you should get that, uh, get that going. Can we? Then I think it's player, so player is a local player. Then game pass ID. Now I think this is how the parameters are ordered. So the local has pass is actually a bool value, so it shows whether or not it's true or false. So basically, if the user owns this game pass, has pass would be true. Otherwise, it would be false. So if the player doesn't have the game pass, it would be false. So if has pass, uh, then actually we won't. We don't want to do anything else. So what we can do is just make a print function, I guess. Uh, the user owns the game pass. Then otherwise, if the user doesn't have the game pass, right? If it doesn't, if the user doesn't own the game pass, we want to prompt the purchase. So we can do marketplace and then colon prompt game pass purchase, right? And then you can do player uh, game pass ID. Okay, hold a second. I think there's one thing that I'm missing. I'm gonna check real quick. Uh, so has pass right here, because this is from my previous script, but uh, it's player that user ID, sorry. And game pass ID, and I think for this is player to game pass, okay. So the only difference here uh, for the ha user owns game pass, I think you want the player's ID, user ID. So make sure you got that. Uh, make sure you got that correct, okay. I know it's kind of confusing, but I honestly don't know why. Um, but okay, I think because Roblox checks it right on the website, so make sure you have that correct. Now I think this is this should be it for the actual the clicking button thingy, right? So you have let's make this organized because why not? Actually, never mind. Leave it like that. Um, so we're gonna just click on the button and let's see if it works should be working fine all right so it shows us the game pass the prompts prompts us to buy it now you can actually buy this without actually spending 100 robux so i can buy this um it says it's, a, it's because as you're obviously in roblox studio you're testing it um so nothing obviously happens because we've never scripted it yet uh okay right now we can now we're done with the local script we can now move on to the server scripts so let's insert a script. Now this script is, is gonna be as soon as the player purchases it, the game pass. So before we do that, we obviously want a uh, boom box. So let's search up boom boxes and model, models, boom box. Okay, let's not get, make sure you don't insert a, make sure you don't insert a freaking virus. Let's please, okay. Uh, we're gonna replicate storage or server storage. Um, server storage would work. Uh, but either one, either one is fine. Uh, okay, we pretty much we can just copy and paste the variables. So go on a local script. So we have the game pass ID and the marketplace service. Okay. 
So it's, it's basically you're repeating it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we can do a game pass ID, all right. So then we can do game pass marketplace. So marketplace uh, dot, I think game pass burst, prompt game pass purchase finished. All right, it's pretty long. Uh, connect, I think it's connect function, connect function. Okay, so I think marketplace dot prompt connect. So we have the, I just wanna check if this is actually correct. So we go on here is a member, uh, let's see. Marketplace prompt game pass purchase, connect function player purchase ID and purchase successful. So in this one, uh, we have actually in this function or event or uh, I don't know, it's a function, the parameters of the function, there are actually three. So the player for the first one, and then we have the purchase ID, purchase ID, then purchase, purchase success. So these are the three variables. You can actually name it whatever you want. You just, you just want to know uh, what it actually is. So the player is the player, right? That bought the game pass. Purchase ID is a game pass that have been bought. And the purchase success is the, well, or it's not really, it's just whether or not the purchase is successful. So then we can do if player equals, oh, hold on a second, not player, I think it's uh, purchase if purchase ID equals game pass ID. So if the purchase ID, the, uh, the game pass that have been purchased is the same one that we have right here that we're referring to. And and uh, purchase success equals true. So if the purchase was successful, true, then, oops, then uh, we can make the changes. So we can do the boom box, so let's, like, let's rename this to Boombox, okay. So Roblox, not Roblox, replicate storage, game dot replicate storage dot boombox. Actually, let's make this store this in a variable. So local, oops, uh, I meant to do local, oops, local boombox clone equal game dot replicate storage dot boombox dot clone boombox clone dot parent equal uh let's see player dot player dot character we can do player dot backpack you can do oops player dot backpack okay uh you can actually do player dot character if you want it like because the character is basically um so when, whenever a, a player equips a tool the tool will be parented under the player instead of the backpack and backpack is just the backpack but it won't be equipped if it's a character, it would be equipped automatically. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that should be it. Let's see whether or not it works. So have that. Okay, okay, let's see. I just wanna make it, I think this should be working just fine. Okay, so we go on the, click the button. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Actually, you should be enabling the, hold on, the, Allow third party sales, yeah. Make sure you have that, uh, make sure you have that enabled. Okay, click on again, it should work, okay. Click on this, boom. So I don't think, okay, there it is, it took a while. So now we have the boom box in our backpack, we can equip it. Now, the very last thing we want to do is we want to give the boom box every time the player joins the game. So, because at this point, if the player leaves the game pass, like we have to check if the game pass, uh, we have to check if the player owns the game pass every time they join the game, basically. So you can do this in another script if you want. You can actually put it in the same script, but I'm just, I'm just gonna do it in a different script just for organization's sake. Um, so you can just do, make this another script. So player joined, um, doesn't really doesn't really matter. We just make a player joined event. So game dot players. You know, players actually hold them in. Uh, yeah, we copy and paste the same variables again. Let's do that so we save some time. So we got the game pass and marketplace again. So player, uh, marketplace, not marketplace. Oh my god, uh, game dot players, game dot players, dot player I connect function. Okay, player, the parameter. All right, 
and we have the end. Okay, okay, okay. So we make the same exact function we did on the local script. So that user own uh, game pass sync, we can copy and paste this. So we can check whether or not the player has the game pass. So local has pass equals okay. So if has pass, if has pass. So if has pass is true, then we give the boom box to the player. So again, we can copy and paste this again. This is the same exact script or code, and then we can else. Well, you wouldn't do anything. So that's really it. I should work perfectly fine right now. Okay. Now this is every time the join. I'm not sure if it works on. I don't think it works on Studio. You can put. Um, you can actually put this instead. You can put this on a like a data store if you want. Um, instead of having this, but I think it's more simpler. So this should work uh, every time it joins. I'm not sure if it works on Studio, but you should test it in the actual game. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want more. Uh, comment down what you want next, what kind of tutorials, um, and I should be making it. But most importantly, hold a second. Most important, hold a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the audio right now. Look at this. Hold a second, where's the audio? Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna buy this boombox here. Okay. Now it, we have the boombox. Easy. I'm gonna play anything we want, to be honest. Like the Clash of Clans, like the Clash of Clans audio. I don't know. Um, anyways, make sure you like and subscribe if you want more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm jumping off.